glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, the men that taught us his truth. And salutations to the elect. All right, I'm the brother Yawanathan. I'm with the brother Kadosh Apart. And we just got another lesson through the Holy Spirit to feed the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, which are you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And we're going to go into prophecy because that's the time we're living in. You know, we speak about the things that's going to come to pass because you're going to have to deal with it. We're going to have to deal with it. We're all going to have to deal with what's written in this book. So we give you the warning through the Spirit so that you could be prepared in the Spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahusha to deal with what's to come. And so we're going to go right into it. This is Revelation <clears throat> chapter 3, verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience. Yeah, who's doing that right now? Who's keeping the word of the Lord patiently or the word of his patience, which means to suffer? The men of Great Millstone, starting with the apostles on down. Mm -hmm. You see these other camps, they, they haven't kept the word of the Lord's patience. They changed the doctrine. They sold out. They changed certain things that one time they used to teach. Now they don't teach it. Mm -hmm. They bring new doctrines that was never heard of, never taught before. They're not keeping the word of the Lord patiently. They didn't deal with the suffering. They didn't deal with the ridicule and the criticism that comes with teaching his word. Getting mocked by your own people. Knowing that you're going to get persecuted by Esau, the mm -hmm. so-called white man, the devil. How he's going to come down with great wrath. They don't want to deal with that. Nope. They want to sell out. They want to be comfortable. You know, they want to teach you that you are Israelite, which is good. You are Israelite, but there's more to it. What you being an Israelite, what does that mean? What's going to happen? Mm -hmm. There's a persecution that we all going to suffer that's known as the time of Jacob's trouble. They don't really talk about that. Go ahead. And you as a shepherd, mm -hmm. you have to get that blood off of your hands. That's it. You got to tell our people about Jacob's trouble. All right. The devaluing of the dollar. Mm -hmm. You know, the M-O to the T to the B. You got to give our people the warning because these are the final prophecies that set to take place before Yahweh Shai comes back. That's right. So you as a shepherd or an Israelite man in a top leadership position, you got to give your congregation and Israel as a whole worldwide that warning. Mm -hmm. And we mainly do that through YouTube. Mm -hmm. You know, so we doing these videos. You see on the Internet, you see on YouTube, you don't even really see the other camps out there. Never. You know, they don't they don't put up camp videos. They don't really do sit downs like that. They're not going into these prophecies. So who is doing this? When the Lord said, he that keep it, read it again. Yep. Revelation chapter three and verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience. Right. The word of the Lord's patience. Who's doing that? Great millstone primarily. Go ahead. I also will <clears> keep <throat> thee from the hour of temptation. Yeah. So because you kept this word, you suffered what comes with teaching the word. You know, you were faithful. You were that faithful servant the lord is going to reward you by putting a spirit on you to where you're not going to fall into that temptation get um first corinthians i think it's 10 and 13 it could be second corinthians but try first corinthians first about the temptation mm -hmm. this is um <clears throat> first corinthians chapter 10 and verse 13 there have no temptation taken you but such as is common to man yeah and that's our temptation that's going to be common to men mm -hmm. that's going to that's we all going to have to go through that like apostle elder to always says you as an individual every single man is going to be tempted on this earth all right so you're going to have to suffer a temptation that it is so-called you know crafted to you to your specific spirit but it's all going to be a common thing meaning the hour of temptation we all going to have to suffer that mm -hmm. go ahead it says but the most high is faithful who would not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. Right, he's faithful. So that means when he said, when we just read Revelation 3 and 10, which we're not done, we're going to go back. Mm -hmm. Revelation 3 and 10, because thou kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. you got to believe that because yeah. the Lord is faithful. He said he's also faithful that he's not going to tempt you above what you can handle. And think about all the things that you've already been through as a man. Mm -hmm. All right, how the Lord delivered you from death, surgeries, mm -hmm. illness, wicked women. You know, just wicked people in general. Mm -hmm. Hard tribulations and temptations that other men would, would have folded on. Mm -hmm. He delivered you That's right. through Yahweh Shai. That's why the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai is very important. You got to be fully persuaded in your own mind to believe that these times to come during Jacob's trouble, all right, that Yahweh Shai is going to deliver you because you kept the word of his patience. That's right. You, you stood true to the true doctrine. All right, you glorify Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, even mm -hmm. though you was catching that hell. You know, Yahweh Shai was still on um, with you. <clears throat> yep. So go ahead, keep reading that. It says, But the Most High is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, mm -hmm. but will with the temptation 
also make a way to escape. Yeah, so you got to keep that in mind. And all of us, starting with myself, you got to keep that scripture in mind because we're all going to be in a, at a point where we're tempted. All right, whether whatever the temptation may be, man. Brothers got family. Some brothers don't got family. Some brothers are just by themselves. Mm. But whatever it may be, you're gonna have to be tempted as an individual. Your faith is gonna be tried. When you go into that word temptation, matter of fact, I'm gonna get it mm -hmm. in Revelation three and ten. You're gonna see some, <laughs> like what the Elder Apostle Tar said, man. It's 100 percent true. We all gonna be tempted as an individual, man. Your faith in Yahweh by Shimei Shai is gonna be tempted. But you have to keep that in mind that the Lord is not going to tempt you above what you can handle so if it feels like it's too much guess what, what does the scripture say cast your burdens upon me that's right all right my my yoke is light my burden is easy cast a burden on your shy pray to your shy pray to your how about you shy and the lord will get you out of there we that's what we're reading um the word temptation in revelation 3 and 10 is g 3986 i'm gonna let this devil say it strong's g 3986 <laughs> Pyrasmas. Pidas mas. Pidas mas. All right, and it says an experiment, attempt, trial, proving. Mm. It says trial, proving the trial made of you by my bodily condition, mm. a trial of man's fidelity. And the word fidelity, when you look it up, I'm going to just do a quick word search. It goes back to the word faith. All right, so it's the trial of your faith. Um, You wanted to say something? And you got to go through the tribulation <clears throat> because word. the Lord likens the men of Israel mainly the elect men of the nation of Israel as mm -hmm. gold. So when you're dealing with gold, you have to purge gold mm -hmm. to get the impurities out, the dross. Yep. So one of the definitions was what? Proven. Mm -hmm. So through the trials and tribulations, overcoming through Yahweh Shai, that's how you become proven. That's right. why the Lord said, the ones that kept my patience, meaning the elect that taught the correct doctrine, mm -hmm. was pushing the correct gospel, I'm going to protect you from all these evil things to come upon the world that's right because that's how we was proven we was catching hell you know bills mm -hmm. you know illnesses you know catching hell with our woman whatever mm -hmm. you going through as an individual yahweh shai he he was with us mm -hmm. for us to overcome all right and to glorify him that's right that's right the word fidelity and uh etymology it goes back to early 15th uh, century it says i mean yeah 15th 15th century faithfulness devotion mm. you see devotion that's what we doing this is a devotion that's right you know every saturday we come out on the highways and byways because the spirit of yahweh by shimei Shai is on us to do it we're not doing it because we necessarily want to do it or because we will ourselves but right. it's a devotion it's a spirit that the lord put in us the holy spirit to want to do it we do it willingly and cheerfully that's right so because of that devotion because the lord put that in us he also has to try that mm -hmm. and make sure that we are faithful to that that spirit that holy spirit do you really believe in the words that you're speaking? Do you really believe that the Lord is going to deliver you from the hour of temptation? That's the ultimate test right there, man. Mm -hmm. We're telling everybody else, but do you believe that the Lord is going to deliver you mm -hmm. from the hour of temptation? How do you see that for yourself as an individual according to your own faithfulness? Every man's faith is not the same. We all have different levels of faith. We all have different levels of devotion. Mm -hmm. So the Lord is going to test that within each individual man. Um, that's pretty much it there. So you could go back. Yep. This is first Corinthians mm -hmm. chapter 10 and verse 13. Mm -hmm. They have no temptation taking you, but such is common to man. Mm -hmm. And what's common to man? Catching hell while you in the flesh. That's We're right. just like regular men. You know, we have our jobs. We got our things that we have to deal with according to the flesh. Our women, you know, our, our families, brothers live with their parents. You got to pay bills. Right. But the most high is faithful. What makes the most high faithful? Because we did the will of the Father through Yahweh Shai. That's right. Which is a gift of faith when you read <clears> Ephesians <throat> chapter um, 2 and 8. It's, it's a gift to have faith and to glorify Yahweh Bashem mm -hmm. Yahweh Shai through the trials and tribulations. Mm -hmm. So the Most High is faithful because he made a promise to our forefathers, right? Mm -hmm. It says, but such is as common to man, but the Most High is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able mm -hmm. so when it feels like it's too much it's not too much it's just enough you know it's never too much it's never something that you can't handle even in the book of peters it said don't think it's strange concerned concerning the fiery trial which is to try you that's right you know this is what the lord does to gold and like the brother mentioned earlier to these precious metals because mm -hmm. how do you know like for me, I, I can't look at a piece of gold and tell if it's real just by looking at it. You gotta have faith is real. Right, and you and it has to be put under fire. If I find a gold nugget on the floor, that shit could be anything. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Let's 
say I'm a smith or, you know, I'm somebody that collects jewels or whatever, and you find, you know, you're on your search and you find a, a nugget of gold, mm -hmm. you're not just going to say, oh, this is real gold. I just know it. Yeah. You're going to have to throw it in that fire, in that furnace. Then when, when you see the dross coming off, the impurities, you see other metals like, oh, that was mixed with some iron. That was mixed with this, with that. Mm -hmm. Eventually, you're going to say, oh, that's the gold right there. Yeah. That, look at that little. It was, a, it was this big at once, but this is the actual real 24 karat gold, the mm -hmm. pure gold. And that's all the Lord is looking for. All of this shit in this world, we're not taking none of this with us, man. Right. It's your spirit. It's your faith in, the, in Yahweh and Yahweh Shai that he's going to pretty much pull out of that fire. It's that spirit, that, that um, faithful spirit that you have towards the Lord. You know, it's, you know something too, when you go to like pawn gold or sell gold, what do they do? They test it. You know, they, <laughs> yeah. they, they grab like your ring or your, your chain and they mm -hmm. scratch it against a material. Mm -hmm. That's a flintstone. Yeah. A, a, a flintstone. Yeah, yeah. And that's how they know it's real or not. You're mm -hmm. not trying to get over on them. So mm -hmm. that's symbolic to us, yeah. being that gold trod in the fire. Yeah, having know? to go through harsh conditions to prove that, look, we do believe. You that's know, right. like the brother said, these are personal testimonies. That's It said they were saved by the blood of the lamb and by their testimony. They were talking about the elect. Mm -hmm. So go ahead. It says, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape? Yeah, so whatever it may, whatever is set before you, that may seem like, yo, I don't even know how I'm going to get out of this right now the lord is going to make an escape you right. got to believe that the lord is going to make a way to where you don't you don't have to use the chip to buy and sell because mm -hmm. we know already well i said it but you know the motb we know we know that what the prophecy says is that no man is going to be able to buy or sell except he had it sure. but we're not going to have it but we're still going to be able to buy and sell somehow yeah we're still going to be able to eat so how is that we'll have to wait and see mm -hmm. but we know that it's going to be by the intervention of the lord yahweh and yahweh shai making a way for us to still, whether it be a trade and barter, whatever system the Lord got away, he, he has something set that's already predestined for us to escape out of that. So we don't have to be subject to taking it. Mm -hmm. You see? And I got a quick precept. Go ahead. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 16, verse 75. Mm. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt. Yeah, so whatever's said before you, you're not supposed to fear it. The Lord, he said he didn't give us a spirit of fear. Mm. He gave us a sound mind. What's a sound mind? Understanding these scriptures. When you understand these scriptures, what the hell do you fear? Yeah. <laughs> you know that the Most High is in control of the right hand, the left hand. Mm -hmm. He controls life. He controls death. He wounds. He heals. He does everything. So what else is there to fear other than him? And you're doing what he says. You're <laughs> teaching the correct doctrine. And we know that the Most High is not a man that he shall lie. That's it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, that's right. He's faithful. Yep. It says, neither doubt, for the Most High is your God. Yeah, because when you doubt, do you leave a open? you basically leaving an opening for a demon to creep in to mm -hmm. tell you a lie. Yeah. Because what is doubt? It doubt it, you know something and then you doubt it. You say, I don't know. Yeah. Once you say, I don't know, then a demon could come in and say, oh, this is the answer. And it's not. Mm -hmm. So don't be afraid, neither doubt. The most high is your guide. Even when you don't know what the fuck you're doing sometimes. Mm -hmm. You don't even understand the full picture, let's say, so to speak, of what your actions are going to lead to. But you just trust in the process. Yeah. That's the most high guide in you. You see? Mm -hmm. You want to say something? No, I'm going to finish this off. All right. It says that ye may be able to bear it. Yeah, so you're going to be able to bear it because the Most High is going to make a way for you to bear it. That's right. He's not just going to leave you in that shit and, you know, now no, you yeah. got to figure it out. You yeah. on your own, yeah. son. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, he's going to make a way to escape. And he's going to show you the way. You're going to say, oh, that way. And mm -hmm. then, boom, now you, you don't have to deal with all of the pressure. And, you know, there's a way to escape now. You, like, so, so to speak, like a back door, a building is on fire. You know, the fire is covering the entrance. And you're like, oh, shit, mm -hmm. how are we going to get out of here? And then... There's an emergency exit in the back. You know, that's the spirit of the Lord for the elect. And Yahweh Shah is that back door. That's right. Because Yahweh Shah is in the heavens. He's pleading our case. That's right, bro. Father, they glorify me. You know, yep. they catching all this hell. Mm -hmm. You know, be with them. That's right. Through me. Yep. That's the importance of Yahweh Shah because he's our savior, our mediator, mm -hmm. our high priest. Mm -hmm. So he's up in the heavens pleading our cause. That's right. Remember, our righteousness is as filthy, filthy rags, rags. Yep. you know. But because the Most High made an oath and a promise to our forefathers, Mm -hmm. He's going to deliver us That's through right. Yahweh Shai. He's That's going to right. send his son back to deliver us. Mm -hmm. Back in Revelation chapter 3 and verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Yep. So that hour of temptation, as we know, is when they're going to make that MOTB, that Revelation 13 and 16, they're going to make it mandatory. Mm -hmm. They're going to make it a law. They're going to put extreme conditions. Matter of fact, I still had the word temptation in... um. In the Greek, 
and I wanted to get more out of it because it, this heavy point right here it says an enticement to sin. Mm. We know that taking that thing is a sin because mm. Leviticus 19 and 28, you're not supposed to make no piercing or cutting in your flesh. Right. And when you deal with the word mark in the in the Greek, karagma, it means an incision. incision. So that's going to be a cutting in your flesh. So you already know off rip, you're not supposed to do that. Mm -hmm. You're not supposed to take that. But that's an enticement. That's the temptation is also an enticement. Um, it says whether arising from the desires, which is something inwardly, desires is in your flesh. Mm. You have the lust of the flesh. You have the desire to please people or whatever it may be. That's going to tempt you. Whatever is inwardly within your flesh. But check this out. Or from the outward circumstances. Mm. And what's the outward circumstances? Esau coming with great wrath, bringing his NWO. You know, he's already creating this uh, food shortage. Yeah. That's an outward circumstance. Because you're going to go to the supermarket and say, yo, there's no food. What I'm going to do? And they're going to say, oh, here, take this thing and you, you'll you be able to eat. Mm -hmm. Now they created an outward circumstance that's going to entice you to sin and mm -hmm. do something you know you're not supposed to do, mm -hmm. but it's going to tempt you to do it anyways. That's the, the ultimate trial of your faith. The inward desire and the outward circumstance that's going to be created around you, which is the new world order, mm -hmm. the digital society, the digital um, economy. And that's why Matthew 24 and 24 says what it says. If it were, matter of fact, I'm going to mm -hmm. get it. Yeah, I'll get it for you. I'll get it. Cause that's that's why the scriptures, you know, say that. Yep. See, a man that's faithless, two thirds of the nation of Israel, they're gonna be faithless. Mm -hmm. That's why the scriptures say what? Let not the incredulity incredulity of them trouble thee, which is the unbelief. Mm -hmm. Because the people that take this trip, they're faithless. Mm -hmm. And faith is a gift. This is Matthew 24 and 24. For there shall arise false anointed, it yeah. says Christ. No yeah, anti-messiahs, you know, mm -hmm. false prophets, guys that act like they're men of the Lord on mm -hmm. the outward appearance, mm -hmm. but in the spirit, they're full of dead man bones, roughly paraphrasing. Okay. And we have a lot of examples of that today based off of the doctrines that they're teaching. Yep, and false prophets. And false prophets. And what is a prophet's job? To tell you something or to give you the warning before something becomes current events. Before right. it actually takes place in the earth, mm -hmm. before it becomes a reality and you see it happening. Mm -hmm. See, here at Great Millstone, we do that. We go into prophecy. We go into secular history. Mm -hmm. We break down the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability. And we try to keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability according through faith. Mm -hmm. But see, these other guys, they don't do that. They tell you, oh, keep the law, keep the mm -hmm. law. But what about Yahweh Shai? And you in the flesh. So you automatically a sinner. Yep, and they telling you to take the MOTB. Yeah, you had IZBK, you had General Rihanna that say, hey, if you need to take it, take it. Talking yeah. about take the um the jab. That's a false prophet because th the prophecy is that don't take it. <laughs> we yeah. reading it, it said don't take it. And that's breaking the law. Exactly, but then he's telling you to take it. So that's a false prophet. He not, he not telling you what's really going to happen if you take it. That's right. What's actually written in Revelation 4, uh, 4, 9 and 10, 14, 9 and 10. Mm -hmm. It says, and shall show great signs and wonders mm -hmm. in so much that if it were possible. Meaning it's not possible. <laughs> yep. You can't deceive the people that this brother is about to name. They shall deceive the very elect. And who's the elect? The first fruits or the first spirits created mm -hmm. by Yahweh through Yahweh Shai. Through Yahweh Shai. Yahweh mm -hmm. gave the blueprint when you read Colossians, the first chapter, mm -hmm. to Yahweh Shai to create everything you see around you. That's right. Along with the 144,000. Mm -hmm. It's not possible to deceive the very elect. So if we have to be outcasts. The other camps don't want to accept us. You know, they want to call us the bump camp. So mm -hmm. you guys are faith-based Israelites. We'll be there. As long as we please Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, that's all that's important, that's right. according to the scriptures. Yeah, because we want to be delivered from what we read in here, man. See, mm -hmm. that's the problem with these other camps too. These guys are zombies like the apostles go into. Mm -hmm. They're not really looking into what their leaders are telling them. At all. They're not reading it for themselves and saying, yo, what the fuck? Like, this shit is scary, man. When you read in the scriptures, it tells you in Corinthians that knowing the terror of the Lord, we, we persuade, persuade men. So that's the only reason we even doing what we're doing, to get the blood off our hands and because we fear... What we read and we like, yo, I don't want to be a part of that. So I'd rather do what it's said to do mm -hmm. and Lord willing, I'll have a chance to make it, to be delivered from this hour temptation. So I don't have to feel that fire of the missiles, man. Because mm -hmm. that's ultimately what's going to happen to you. You're going to die in World War III. Mm -hmm. There's more there, right? In Revelation 3.10? Yeah, Revelation 3 and 10, continue with Noah. <clears throat> it says, what shall come upon all the world? Yeah, all the world. That word world in the Greek is oikomene, which means mm -hmm. the inhabited earth, all the inhabitants of the earth. Because this is a global thing. This is a global crisis right now. The food crisis is a global crisis. The inflation is not just inflation in America. It's inflation all over the world because the American dollar became the world reserve currency. 
That's right. So now if the dollar gets weakened, the Chinese yuan, the chi you know, the, the yuan currency gets weakened. Mm -hmm. The ruble gets weakened. Everybody's feeling the effects of this inflation and the uh, food shortages, man. That's right. So this is a worldwide thing that the so-called white man is bringing upon the earth. When the scamdemic hit, that was a worldwide thing. That wasn't just in one part of the world. It started in so-called Wuhan, China, but it spread all over the planet. Yeah. Same way with this Our Temptation. It may start somewhere. It may be over here first. Oh, look what they're doing. They're making it mandatory. Then it's going to happen all over. Yeah. They're going to make it like a global law, so to speak, because the white man, he got the power to do that. He's a wicked that Job 9 and 24 spoke about, the Edomites. Mm -hmm. they, the earth was given into their hand. The power of the earth is given to them. And that links up with we've been learning from our apostles and elders about order, kill, yep. you know, problem, <clears throat> reaction, solution. So they're the ones that are staging these famines in order to bring forth what? Their NWO, mm -hmm. which the end game of that is to bring this chip. Mm -hmm. That's the end or be all. But before they do that, they want to break the mind and spirits of these people right. worldwide to get you to comply with their agenda. Mm -hmm. And they're going to use celebrities. They're going to advertise this through music. This mm -hmm. is what they're going to do. That's right. I got a precept. This is Isaiah 10 and 1. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. Who's in power according to the Bible? Mm -hmm. When you read 2 Ezra 6 and 9, what's the end time prophecy? Who did it say will be ruling in these last days? Right. The Edomites, Esau, Edom. Mm -hmm. Who is Esau, Edom today in this world? Who are the true descendants of Esau, Edom? The so-called white man in sea line, mm -hmm. beginning with the central bankers all That's down. It. They're the ones that are implementing and making mandatory these laws, mm -hmm. all right, these different legislations. It says, and that right grievousness. It's grievous. Mm -hmm. Damn, I can't work. I can't feed my family. Mm -hmm. My child is hungry. My, my woman is going to give me hell now. How am I going to eat? How am I going to pay my bills? I'm behind on my rent. I just got an eviction notice. I'm just giving you examples. Yeah. It's grievous yep. because now people are seeing what? The side effects of that <clears throat> thing. Right? Yep. They seeing people getting bell palsy, people's being put to death. Mm -hmm. They getting all type of allergic reactions to that. So people are in fear. Mm -hmm. And ultimately you got people that are religious as well. You know, they they Christians. Yeah, you so know. Cold, right? they, you know, <laughs> they believe in whatever philosophy they believe in. And mm -hmm. you want them to take this jab which goes against it. Mm -hmm. Which they have prescribed. Which they have prescribed, meaning they made it into law. They made it mandatory. Yep. Oh, you want to feed your family? You want to be able to eat? You want to be able to go into the store? Mm -hmm. You want to be able to participate in society? Well, I'm requiring you to do this. Mm -hmm. That's grievous because mm -hmm. you don't really have a say-so. They're indirectly making it mandatory. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they've been doing that. Whenever you go to the supermarket, you can't just grab whatever you want. You know, walk up to the counter and give them a silver coin and say, "All right, that's your payment." Yeah, we've already been under their system, man. They've already they already had the power of the earth for yeah. all these years. It ain't like we telling you something that something is going to come man. like yeah, like oh wow, this is just going to be, you know, some random thing that just comes to life. It's already here. Mm -hmm. That's why I said in Revelation 13, when you start up a little bit above from 16, it says they have power to give life Into to the, the image. image of the beast. This system was already here. They just fully clamping down on it, man. Mm -hmm. That's all it really is. They fully bring it forth to pass what they always already wanted to do. Mm -hmm. It's not a conspiracy theory. <laughs> it's Bible prophecy, man. That's what it is. Yeah, because no, the word conspiracy, as the, the captain Corral broke, uh, broke it down in his video, mm -hmm. it means a plotting of evil when you go into the etymology of it. Right. So the plotting of evil is that what? These bankers, which come from right. the sea line of Edom, this is their agenda yep. to chip you because they look at us as goyim. They look at us as mm -hmm. wild cattle or mm -hmm. wild slaves on the loose. Mm -hmm. So they want to come with that digital oil. Mm -hmm. They want to come and brand That's us, it. but That's you're it. not going to be able to do that to the elect. That's right. Because it's already was the elect is already spoken for, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> They're right here in what we're reading. We'll finish that up and then I'm going to get this. Con that says, we shall come upon all the world to <laughs> try them that dwell upon the earth. Yeah, to try them that dwell upon the earth. So whoever's on the planet earth, when this thing becomes mandatory, you're going to be tried, man. That's right. And a lot of you people, you're going to fail. Hmm. A lot of you people that claim you Christians, you got people that... They not so called down with the Israelite thing, but they still say they believe in the Bible, and they still know and say that the mark is what we say that it is. Yeah. They still and they're still gonna take it. Mm -hmm. Why? Because they don't have the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. They don't know the hundred percent truth. They got a portion of it, but they can't see the full picture. Because they they haven't been given that gift of faith. That's it. And ultimately, the Most High blinded their minds. That's right. Because Yahweh 
is only dealing with the elect through Yahweh mm -hmm. So it's through Yahweh we're able to prophesy and give you the warning. Mm -hmm. So I got, yeah, this is Micah 2 and 1. It says, woe to them that devise iniquity. Yeah, woe meaning death mm -hmm. and destruction. Yep. Right? Woe to them that what? Devise iniquity. Who's devising iniquity? Iniquity, another word for iniquity is sin. Mm -hmm. Who's who's in power right now? Right. Whose face is on the money system? Mm -hmm. Who's in charge of the central bank, the Federal Reserve? Yep. Who, who prints the money out? Who's signing the laws with who's, that pen? Who's signing the laws with the pen? See, that's the thing. You got people that, you know, they might have their podcast. They <laughs> might do their little videos. Oh, you know, Illuminati this, <laughs> Illuminati that. But what yeah. do they look like? Right. What, what do they look like? Yep. When you look at them, it's Edomites <laughs> according to the Bible as it is written in the scriptures. Yep. They're the ones that's prescribing these laws. Mm -hmm. This agenda of the NWO, that's their agenda. Yep. And it's going to fail according right. to the scriptures. It says, and work evil upon their beds. Work evil upon their beds. You got these people, they be trying to throw up curses on, the, on their leg. Yeah. They be trying to do that. Yep. They be trying to devise crafty ways to get our people to sin. Mm -hmm. That's why they gather in the Bohemian Grove and, and have these different um, meetings yep. to really come against Israel. That's in Psalms, the 83rd chapter. Yeah, that's why you're not there. <laughs> that's why Israelites ain't there. That's why none of the men of the Lord is there. That's why... Even an Israelite ambassador, so to speak, yeah. ain't there. He's not at the UN. There's no Israelite man ambassador of the tribe of Judah, because that's a head tribe. It would have to be a Judite. Yeah. They not there at the UN discussing whatever these people are talking about, because they talking about you. Yeah. It says when the morning is light, they practice it. Yeah, right now we're in the morning. All right, we're in the day where we can work. John 9 and 4. Mm -hmm. All right, we glorifying the Lord. We're going on the highways and byways. The internet hasn't been shut off. So what is it time to do? Glorify Yahweh by Hashem El Shai. Teach the correct gospel. Teach mm -hmm. the correct doctrine. Yep. Because soon the internet is not going to be around forever. The internet is going to be shut off soon. Yeah, they want to do away with the internet because of us. <laughs> yeah. See, they use the internet. They use the mainstream media. They use the TV to program you people with all these lies. And then here come the men of the Lord, beginning with Abba Bivens, the apostles, you know, so on and so forth, all the way down to even us. Mm -hmm. We're exposing everything they did, man. We, we bringing out the prophecies, the scriptures. There was a time when nobody knew these scriptures, man. Right. There was a time where these devils were doing everything they were doing and nobody knew. Mm -hmm. But now it's coming to light. Now we they're getting exposed. So they want to do, they are going to do away with the with the YouTube and all of that. They're only going to allow certain content on these um, social media platforms. And that's why they keep updating the algorithms and yep. the YouTube censorship. That's right. Now you do a video on prophecy, what do you get flagged with? <laughs> Medical misinformation. Yeah. It's like, damn, I ain't even say nothing about that. That's right. But you have that excuse to do that. Yep, it says, when the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. Yeah, because the Most High put them in power. Job mm -hmm. 9 and 24, yep. Revelation 6 and 4, Second Ezra 6 and 9. Mm -hmm. That lets you know that the Edomites, they will be the last nation to rule before the kingdom of heaven is established. That's so right. they're the ones that's prescribing the laws. While they're still in power, these are the things that they're doing. Mm -hmm. They ain't trying to repent from their ways. Nope. They're going to go so far to challenging the Most High Son when he come back. Mm -hmm. The scriptures talk about that. Revelation, the 12th chapter, it was war in heaven. Yeah. And they're going to lose that war. But because mm -hmm. the pride that the Most High is going to put on them, they're going to try to fight against the only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. The creator. The creator, literally. <laughs> That's, you know, you yep. got to be in an off spirit to even be like that. Mm -hmm. Profane. Profane. Outside of the temple. Outside you of the just temple. Completely outcasted from any truth and any form of knowledge, really. But they're the real Jews. <laughs> It's a little more. It says, and they covered fields and take them by violence. And that's what they did with our land, man, yeah. through the Belfort Declaration. Mm -hmm. Now, we know according to prophecy, they were dwelling there, Ezekiel, the 35th chapter, yeah. but they, they're not the real Jews, man. When you read Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, and when you read Romans 8 and 16, what does Romans 8 and 16 tell you? It's the spirit that bear witness with our spirit, mm -hmm. meaning when we read these scriptures, we get the correct understanding through the prophets of the Lord, which is the apostles of Great Millstone on down, we understand that's talking about us mm -hmm. and our living situations, the yeah. things we will go through through life. Yep. That applies to us. Yep. The real Jews would be in poverty. They would be on the bottom. Mm -hmm. But when you look at them, they own everything. They own Diamond District. They yeah. got all the women. They got our land. They blessed to live in the best areas. Yep. You look You look at these vacation commercials, they chilling. <laughs> they in the pools, you know yep. what I mean? Yep. So they are in power according to prophecy, but they're they not the real Jews. Mm -hmm. And they stole our land. They come with their democracy. They come with their different policies. All right. They come with their religion, Christianity, mm -hmm. even Islam. 
and they come and take over people's lands because mm -hmm. they're as deaf and they can't be satisfied. Yep. Look at um Bill Gates too, for an example, right? During this so-called scamdemic, he ended up buying up all this farmland out of nowhere, just right yeah. in the middle of the, in the scandemic. Now he could have bought that ten years ago. He could have. He already had the money, mm -hmm. but that was a plot, man. They're scheming. He bought up all the all the um the farmland, and then he he invested in these companies. You know the impossible meat and the whatever the other one, the fake meat companies. So he said, yeah, synthetic beef. Yeah, he said every you know ninety percent of countries in the world should adopt this fake beef. But that's him coveting fields. He he, those are people's farmland that he bought. <laughs> he ain't a fucking farmer. It wasn't inherited to him. It's not. It's not his. Who gave him the right to do that? Right. <laughs> that's crazy it says but they can't so oh, like it. No, no. but they can't see like this man is the devil right why, why would you trust somebody that from the beginning of time he been trying to kill you he right. trying to do away with you right he can't do it pursuing the Malachi 3 and 6 mm -hmm. Hebrews 4 and 8 yep but he this is his track record this yep. is his actions he he hate our people yep because he can't get his birthright back that's right you got to question his intentions when mm. he does something you got to question him why is he why why the fuck does why does this devil want all this farmland yeah what's what's about to happen that he's buying up all this land mm. you know why they want why why the war in ukraine you know those are all edomites by the way russians and ukrainians those are both edomites why are they fighting for what's what's going on what's really the you know they even said it whoever wins this war is going to be the leaders of the new world order mm. So you have to question these people's intentions, man. When they make these moves and sign these laws, you have to look further than just what's being presented before you. Yeah, on the news. Yeah, on the news. They have a deeper agenda, man. And this is ultimately the agenda that we're reading right here. And houses, they cover fields and take them by violence. Mm. And houses and take them away. So they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. And the New World Order is one big oppressive scheme. Mm. Because they want you to believe in what they're telling you. You can't have your own religion. You can't believe in whatever you want to believe in. You can't use your nation's form of currency. You have to use this currency, the CBDC, the the um the MOTB. That's the currency that you got to use. Matter of fact, get um Habakkuk two, they are two and five, because it, it basically is a precept with this. Mm -hmm. They oppress a man and it even and his house, even a man and his heritage. There's no freedom in the new world order. There's no freedom in that. There's they they painting the illusion of it, but. In the reality, there's actually no freedom because all the laws that they are writing, you're going to have to follow it or you're going to be left out. You won't be able to participate in what they established. And how did they establish all of it? By nothing but bloodshed, robbery, deception. Mm -hmm. It's not like they got it righteously. So that, that shows you right there the sly intentions of this devil, how he even came into power. You know, the Renaissance period, all of that, when you go through the history. It show you his intentions are, play, are are plainly laid out here in the scriptures. They speak uh, peace. You know, they, their words were smoother than butter, but oh, war was in their heart. You found it? Um, Habakkuk 2 and 5. 2 and 5? Yep. This is Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 5. <clears throat> yeah, also, because he transgressive by wine. Yeah, who's the he? The wicked, the so-called white man. And what's the transgression? Breaking the law. That's what sin is, First John 3 and 4. How does he transgress by wine? His wine is what? His philosophy. Mm -hmm. He said, no, we're going to do away with the Bible. You know, we're not going to keep the laws of the Bible. We're not going to keep the land Sabbath. We're not going to keep the year Jubilees. We're not going to adhere to the ordinances that are written in the Bible. We made up our own laws. Right. These are our laws now. You have to receive this jab if you want to work. Mm. You have to do this if you want to gain access to that. Yeah, that's him. That that's what he's doing. Yeah, he's transgressing by wine. Yeah, these are his own policies. This is his own agenda. Right. All right. Which everything that's going on in the earth is according to the Most High's will. Mm -hmm. But the Most High wants his laws, statutes, and commandments implemented really by his people under his son. <laughs> that's right. But they don't do that. But on the back of the dollar, it says what? In, in God, God we trust. trust. You go on courts. What you gotta do? Yeah, you gotta swear in the Bible. Put your hand on your chest and all this bullshit. So he's a hypocrite. Mm -hmm. he ain't the, these are not the real Jews, man. Nope. Look at their actions. Look at the laws that they implement. It breaks the law, statutes, and commandments. That's right. It says, yeah, also, because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man. Yeah, and that's the scriptures say the beginning of pride is when one departed from his maker. Mm -hmm. So the moment they started straying away from the law, statutes, and commandments, which that's in Isaiah 26 and 10, 
It says, let favor be shown to the wicked, and yet they will not learn righteousness. So they was never going to get it. <laughs> Even Cain, he got a, uh, he had an opportunity to repent. Yeah. He had an opportunity to keep the law because mm -hmm. he was taught by his father, Adam. That's right. But they still didn't do it. Why? Because this is their nature. This prophecy or this scripture right here is explaining the nature and really like the deep, the inner workings of an Edomite, mm -hmm. what he really feels like, what he really thinks. Mm -hmm. He's transgressive by wine. He's a proud man. Pride is when one departed from his maker. He doesn't want nothing to do with the Most High. That's right. When you go to Isaiah 24, it says how they, um, the inhabitants of the earth have polluted the earth, roughly paraphrasing. Let me get that real quick. Yeah, you can get it real quick. I don't want to butcher it. But when you deal with the word polluted in um, Hebrew, uh -huh. it actually says to make the earth godless. Mm. So that's ultimately the ultimate pollution is spiritually. When you took the Most High's laws out of the earth, when you blasphemed the, the, his image, when you blaspheme his name, mm -hmm. when you blaspheme who the people of God are, that's the ultimate pollution that they've done. And after that, everything went downhill. Go ahead. This is Isaiah chapter 24 and verse 5. The yeah. earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. Yeah, when you deal with the word defiled, right, not polluted, defiled. That It also does say polluted. It says, when you look it up in Hebrew, it says polluted, and then it also says to be made godless. Yeah. So that's what he's done. He's he's the ultimate, he's the most proud. It says that in Jeremiah, I think it's 50. Mm -hmm. The most proud shall stumble and fall. The most high, he's not dealing with these people in any way, shape, or form. Satan is dealing with them. They're dealing with the left-handed side of things. So they they... Their craft is evil. Their craft is sin and wickedness, man. Yeah, the God of this world. Right. It says, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, which, you know, the ordinance is the law, mm -hmm. broken the everlasting covenant. Yeah, all the covenants that the Most High made with men, in particular, Israelite men, because that's the only people he made covenant with, mm -hmm. they broke those covenants. They mm -hmm. took it upon themselves. That's in um, Psalms, the 50th chapter. It said that how they, um, what has thou to do to declare my statutes? You want to get it real quick? Mm -hmm. That's 50 or like something else? No, nah, it's um, Psalm 50 or 55. Or oh, like 55 and um, 20? Yeah, I think so. You're right. Yep. This is um, Psalm chapter 55. So Matthew. Mm -hmm. Psalms 55 and verse, you sure is it 20? Try 50 and 20. 50 and 20? Yeah, try Psalms 50. This is Psalm chapter 50 and verse... 20. Yeah, yep. Yeah. It says, Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. Yeah, thy brother, who J Esau and Jacob were brothers, twin brothers, fraternal twin brothers. They were born at the same moment, but one came out first. It said, red all over like a hairy garment. Mm -hmm. And the other one came out normal, who was Jacob. Yeah. So they were not identical twins. They don't look exactly the same. They were actually the complete opposite when you read Genesis 25. Yeah, they were fraternal. Yeah, it's like I said um, something else, right? No, I don't think so. Oh, I said fraternal? All right, so like, yeah, they fraternal twin because you got identical, which is the ones that look exactly the same. This brother did a video on it. And then you have the fraternal twins, which they could look completely different. Mm -hmm. And that was Esau and Jacob. They didn't look alike at all. They didn't act alike. Genesis 25 explains that they didn't even have the same mannerisms. They were yeah. going to be two separate people. They were going to be separated. Two different, different spirits. Yeah, different spirits, different classes, different thought processes and all that. Mm -hmm. So go ahead. Thou slanderest thy own mother's son. Yeah, they slander us. Remember the word devil, when you break it down, it comes from the Greek word diablos, which means slander. slanderer. Yeah. They slander thine own mother's son. Mm -hmm. They sl He slandered Jacob. He said, he stole my birthright. He didn't steal your birthright. You gave it to him. You traded it. We have the records. We got the history, man. It's in it. Genesis 27. You didn't. He didn't steal it. Genesis 25. Then you jumped to Genesis 27. He willingly gave that over. Exactly. Because you were carnal. That's right. And he tried to then accuse Jacob of stealing it. And even to this day, when you look up what does the name Jacob mean on Google, mm -hmm. it tells you it means a liar. <laughs> like Jacob lied and, you know, tricked his father and all that stuff. No, the word is supplanter, yikwab in the Hebrew. Mm -hmm. You got supplanted, my man. You didn't, nobody stole it from you. Nobody put a gun to your head. Nobody robbed you. Jacob did not do anything wicked. That was already preordained from before the womb. You got Christians. They be they be saying that garbage. Yeah, yeah, they do. Jacob stole a blessing. What scripture is that? <laughs> if you got an individual that speaks and they can't back it up according to the scriptures with the correct understanding, mm -hmm. they are liar and there's no light in them. That's right. I got some. Got some yeah, go ahead. This is Psalm chapter one nineteen and verse one twenty six. It is time for thee, Lord, to work, for they have made void thy law. Yep, they may void the laws of the Most High. So now the Heavenly Father got to put in the work because 
That's his law. He said his word is even above his name. That's right. So when you blaspheme the word of the Most High, when you say these prophecies ain't true, mm. when you say these things are never going to come to pass, our will, we're going to impose our will on the earth, then the Most High has to bring what he said that he's going to do to pass. He has to. Mm -hmm. He has to work because th that would mean that he doesn't exist. That would mean he's a liar. That would mean the Most High is not faithful. That would mean he changed his mind. This is how they try to come with that... Um, Supersessionism religion, yeah, that a uh, replacement theology that literally makes a most high a liar because he made covenants that he said I will never alter my covenants. Mm. I can never, once my word goes out of my mouth, it can never be turned back. So how can the most high? How can he, some other nation of people who the most high said he hates or he's not dealing with? How could they supersede the Israelites? That's bullshit, man. I got you got a precept. Yeah, this is on um, Revelation thirteen and six. Mm -hmm. And he opened his mouth and blasphemy against the Most High mm. to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. Yep. Which, wanna, what, yeah, go ahead. which goes back to what the brother was talking about with the Renaissance mm -hmm. period and up until right now. Mm -hmm. Because the tabernacle of the Most High is with men, right. but it begins with the Israelite men. Mm -hmm. All right. Beginning with Yahweh King David, you know, the 12 yep. on down. Yep. But the so called white man, he stole our identity. He's saying, I'm. I'm the chosen um, seed line. I'm the chosen people. But he's not implementing the law. Right. They don't even believe in the New Testament. How can you think that these people is the real Jews, according to the scriptures? <laughs> what laws are they implementing? Right. This is the precept I was um, talking about. Psalm 50 and 16. It's a little bit up. Mm -hmm. But unto the wicked, the most high saith, who you know who the wicked is, Esau, Edom, Malachi 1 and 4. Mm -hmm. What has thou do to declare my statues? Mm -hmm. Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth. Man. And that's what the brothers explaining. When they called themselves Jews, when they took our heritage and oppressed us, mm -hmm. that's what they did. They took the covenant of the Most High in their mouth. So now, okay, you're saying that you're a Jew. You're saying that you're the chosen race of people. Well, then now you have to keep the commandments. Now you have to keep the laws. You're going to be guilty of every law that you break in this Bible. And we already know that. They don't keep none of the laws. At all. So all the judgments that we read, when it says if a man lied with mankind as he lied with women, Leviticus 20 and um, 13, mm -hmm. we're going to judge you Edomites with that law. Yeah, Israel is going to be judged by that law, but you Edomites are going to be judged by that law because you're the biggest homosexuals and, you know, the L word. Because <laughs> yeah. you get censored for saying anything now. The alphabet but, people. Yeah, the alphabet, the alphabet people, alphabet. you know. But it says, seeing thou hatest instruction, mm. And casts my words behind thee. That's that, that's how they polluted the earth. Going back to Isaiah 40, um, 24 and 5. It says the earth is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. They defiled it when they did that, man. When they did the renaissance thing, the rebirth. When they came back into power and they took the most high name out of the earth. And they said, no, his name is God and Jesus. Mm -hmm. When they said, no, you people are just black. Or you're African American and you're Puerto Rican and you Dominican. That's dumb. Casting the words of the Most High behind them Because they knew who the fuck we was yeah. And they still know to this day who we are But are they going to tell you that? No, they're not going to tell you that Because they the wicked How can you expect the devil to tell the truth? You know, he's a liar by nature He's a wicked by nature That's how the Heavenly Father created him So it took men of the Lord It took the Most High to put his spirit on his prophets To expose it Otherwise, nobody would have never knew This would have been a fucking big secret You know what I mean? Forever mm -hmm. Now he's exposed Now he's mad He's coming, he's coming back into that nature of Esau, his forefather, just as we coming into our nature of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Mm -hmm. He's getting in tune with his spirit of being an Edomite. And what is that? The blessing of the sword, man. And this man's ready to come down with great violence upon us, the so-called innocent sheep. And I say that loosely because we know none of us are truly innocent, but mm -hmm. in the eyes of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we're the blameless. And he's getting ready to accuse us. And kill us. <laughs> yeah, he's about to come persecute us. Yeah. That's why you Israelite men, because it, it begins with the men first. You Israelite men that's not fully persuaded, you don't know what you're a part of. Look, when we go on the highways and byways, as we have learned from the apostles and elders on down through the spirit, mm -hmm. we understand that like we could be put to death out there. Yeah. All kind of things could happen to us, but Psalms 34 and 7. Right. We understand and we believe that Yahweh Shai is with us. But the day is coming where all Israelites is going to be persecuted. That's right. I got that precept. Even you fake-ass Israelites, man. Y'all going to get it the worst, really, mm -hmm. pursuing the first Peter 4 and 17. Because that's where judgment is going to begin with those of you that know you Israelites. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Revelation chapter 12, <clears throat> verse 12. 
Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Yeah, the angels, everybody's rejoicing in the heaven because they know the will of the Most High. You know, they know what's to come. They know that this shit ain't going to go on forever. There's people on the earth that don't understand. Once you come down here, the scriptures speak about the chains of darkness. Yeah. <laughs> That's when you just confuse. You don't know what the fuck is what. Mm -hmm. You start over, you a fucking baby. You got to learn how to walk. You got to learn how to talk. You know, you got to learn the name of the Most High, even though you just knew it when you was in the spirit world. Yeah. But everything in the spirit world is really rejoicing. There's no suffering and mourning up there. Mm -mm. That's only happening on the earth. And they rejoicing because they know this thing is going to happen. You know, the will of the Most High is going to be done. The Israelites are going to receive the kingdom. Even though this world sees us as the underdogs and to this world, we're never going to get a kingdom. They laugh at us when we say that. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to be future kings and priests. Even though we could read it out of the Bible that they say they believe in, they still laugh at us. But not in the heavens, the angels and them up there, they rejoicing, man. Go ahead. It says, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. Yeah, the woe is on to you people that's here on this earth. Because they try to make it seem like that war in heaven, Michael, that ain't going on, man. There's yeah. perfect peace and order in the spirit world in heaven. In that dimension. it's going. The woe is going to be on the earth. The war in heaven is going to be here on the earth. But in the heaven, meaning the atmosphere, yeah. in the sky, so to speak, it's going to be a, a Star Wars. That's what... These Edomites called it, they had that program, I believe with Ronald Reagan. Yeah. They called it the Star Wars program, where they started putting satellites and different weaponry in space, getting prepared for the return of our Lord Yahweh Shai. And they got that six on military branch. Yeah, the um what is it? the Space Force. Space when Force. Trump yeah, when Trump came in. Yep, that's right. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. For the devil is come down unto <clears throat> you having great wrath. Yeah, on the people of the earth. The devil's gonna come upon all you people, man. None of you are exempt. We not exempt. Nobody's exempt. Mm -hmm. This devil, <laughs> he got a different spirit, man. We all about to see that. We, the whole planet Earth is about to witness and testify that this man, his spirit is different. Yeah, he's not like he's not even like a normal heathen. He's not even like a Hamite or <laughs> more. He's different, man. Yeah, he's gonna show you that he's the fucking devil, man. The Most High is gonna expose him, which he's already doing, but he's gonna expose himself. He's gonna let them horns come out, like the apostles always say. Mm -hmm. He's gonna show his true nature when he brings that martial law. When he brings down that new world order with force, with that uh, dragon-like energy, that draconian law. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Which means what? Con uh, like extreme consequences, extreme punishment. Mm -hmm. It says, down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he have but a short time. Oh, so he's doing it. Wow. So he's doing it because he knows that he has a short time. That's what's going to really piss him off. Yeah. It's because he knows his power is up. His time is up. Once we got on the scene, beginning with the apostles, you know, beginning with Elijah the prophet, who we believe Abba is Abba Bivens. Once that happened, he knew. Mm -hmm. He knows the scriptures, man. Esau mm -hmm. knows the scriptures. He just don't believe in them. Yeah. He got his own mind, you know. He got his own prideful way of thinking. But that doesn't mean that he doesn't know. It said he searched out things. You know, the heart is deep. He did a diligent search. He did a diligent search. So he knew there's going to be a day, just like the Egyptians knew, mm -hmm. there's going to be a day when there's going to be a savior amongst these people. We got to kill their firstborn. Yeah. Or we got to kill their male children under three years. Mm -hmm. Just as the Romans did when Herod heard of the story or the prophecy of Yahweh Shai. He tried well, to stop it. Exactly. They all did. They always tried to do that. But what happened? The Lord did. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> my, my thing is, and this is what the scriptures say, you have all these great civilizations and empires of the heathen, but they, they're not here right now. Right. So their rulership is temporary, it's mm -hmm. short. It's according to the Most High's will, which is to really punish our people mm -hmm. for breaking the law, statutes, and commandments. Yep. So what makes this devil any uh, this devil any different? Mm -hmm. His rulership is not going to last forever. That's right. His agendas, whatever he has in his mind, it's not going to mm -hmm. happen according to his will. Mm -hmm. Everybody on the planet Earth is controlled by the Most High, Yahweh, That's right. and we operate on his time. Yep. I got this precept. Okay. Isaiah, too. Isaiah chapter 59 and verse 19. It says, So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the West. Mm. Aren't we in the Western Hemisphere? Yes, Aren't we, are. we calling upon the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai? Yep. See, here at Great Millstone, we teach to worship Yahweh and, and Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Shai. We understand we have grace and mercy through who? Mm -hmm. Yahweh Shai. Through his sacrifice and through his blood, we're able to teach, and Lord willing, we are part of the elect have forgiveness of sins mm -hmm. and to receive salvation on this side. I got a quick preset to back you up. This is John 5 and 23, that all men should honor the son even as they honor the father. All men, <laughs> but first it begins with the Israelite men course, because the yeah. whole duty of the Israelite man is to what? 
fear the Most High and keep his commandments. The law of statutes and commandments was only given unto Israel, but when Yahweh established the kingdom of heaven mm -hmm. along with the elect first and they're ultimately all israel in the future all nations is going to have to worship and bow down to yahweh shot that's right that's written in daniel 7 and 27 that's right. all dominions all kings no matter what your status is you're gonna to have to bow down before yahweh shot first and the israelites that's right it says he that honoreth not the son so he so you got guys out here they only owe Testament Israelites. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm only going to give praise to the Messiah. Yeah, how, how are you? Alone. Yeah, how alone? <laughs> how are you going to be forgiven? How are you going to be given grace and mercy? Right. When you read the Old Testament, we was cast off as a people. Right. We wasn't forgiven. Nope. The Most High stopped accepting our sacrifices. Mm -hmm. So who is the ultimate atonement of sins? Mm -hmm. Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. Give him his praise. That's right. He that honoreth not the Son, honoreth not the Father which have sent him. So you niggas that talk about, oh, I worship the Most High, I'm not going to give all praise and glory like to Yahweh Shai. You don't worship <laughs> Yahweh either. Because yeah. what they, matter of fact, let me get it. I don't want to talk too much. Let, yeah, me, yeah. Let, me, let me get it. Matthew chapter 17, yeah. dealing with the transfiguration. Matthew 17 mm. and verse 5. This is what Yahweh said. Mm. It says, while he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and behold, a voice out of the cloud was said. Which that cloud was a chariot, so-called UFO. This is my beloved son, mm -hmm. in whom I am well pleased. Mm. Hear ye him. Mm. You're supposed to worship Yahweh Shah, man. Matter of fact, I have another precept. Hear, hear ye him. So that means everything him. everything Yahweh Shah said when we read in these gospels, these uh these scriptures. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to listen to everything. Yeah. So didn't he just say, that was red. What I read in uh, John 5 and 23, that's in the red letter. Mm -hmm. That all men should honor the son even as they honor the father. Yahweh Shai gave that commandment on the behalf of the Most High. Because mm -hmm. the Most High already approved them by saying, hear ye him. That's right. Yep. I got this one. Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 1, the point is in 2. Mm -hmm. It says, the Most High who has sun dry times and in diverse manners, spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets mm. but here's the point though mm -hmm. it says have in these last days spoken unto us by his son mm. whom he have appointed heir of all oh, things man. by whom also he made the worlds <laughs> you're not going to worship the one that made the worlds and that's appointed everything the fact that we able to prophesy is through Yahweh's that's blood right. and sacrifice that's right What's, what's wrong with these dudes? They reprobates, man. That's a, a dude that's saying you don't have to worship Yahweh Shah. You don't work. He's a reprobate. He doesn't truly understand the order in the heavens. It wasn't given to him. That's he crazy. doesn't understand 1 Corinthians 11 about every man. The head of every man is Yahweh Shai. The head of Yahweh Shai is the most high. Mm -hmm. he, he doesn't understand that because he's a reprobate. A reprobate means void of judgment. Mm -hmm. He cannot discern What's truly going on up there, man? The Lord, he revealed it to us, man, through the Holy Spirit, mm. through these scriptures. That's how we know, by men teaching us these scriptures. You know, and even Jake in the world, man, got an affinity for Yahweh Shai. Yeah. But in the name of, I don't even want to fucking say it, but yeah. you know what I mean? They have an affinity for that guy, man. They fucking would tattoo him on their arms. So how the fuck a dude in the truth can't understand that Yahweh Shai is to be praised and worship, man? And he's supposed to have a wisdom. Exactly. That's a true reprobate right there, man. You had something else? Yeah, this is on Revelation chapter 3 and uh, verse 20. It says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Yeah, that's literally Yahweh Shai saying that right there, man. That's Yahweh Shai at the door, which is the door of your mind. Because he's the one that has to make intercession for you. The Most High is not coming to you directly, man. You can forget about that. That's <laughs> We already fucked that up. Yeah. These guys are talking about keep the law. Part of the law is that if you break any of the law, you're guilty of them all and you condemned. So how can we do that? We, it's already too late. That's what these guys are not understanding. They think they can repent, but you, but then even the concept of repentance, who are you repenting through, man? How are you repenting? Animal it's through Yahweh Shai, man. Yeah, animal sacrifice ain't going to take away our sin. It's not. The Most High is dealing with us through Yahweh Shai and his sacrifice and his blood. That's right. Not animal sacrifice. Yahweh Shai is above the Levitical priesthood, man. Mm -hmm. It says... If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him. Yeah, John 10, what is that, in 17? My sheep hear my voice and they, they follow me. Mm -hmm. So not everybody's going to hear the voice of Yahweh Shai. Only yeah. certain men, which are the men of the elect. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It says, and will sup with him and he with me. Yeah, so if you hear the voice of Yahweh Shai, which is going to come by the men of Great Millstone, mm -hmm. you're going to hear Yahweh Shai, you're going to hear these scriptures, 
and you're going to allow it to enter your body. You're going to allow, remember the Lord said he come in the volume of the book. Mm -hmm. So you're going to allow these scriptures to take root in your mind and your spirit. That's and you're going to accept 100% of the truth. You're going to have no gripe or no problem with anything that's taught. Mm -hmm. If you're a true man of the Lord, of course you're going to look, in, look into it for yourself. Yeah. You know, the Church of Berea, we're going to investigate, we're going to, you know, check the scriptures out, mm -hmm. um, discern the scriptures. But at the end of the day, the true men of the Lord, they're going to hear the voice of Yahweh Shai, and they're going to accept the truth willingly. Mm -hmm. These guys that are teaching these other doctrines, guess what? At one time, they they, they heard what we taught them, yeah. and they said they believed in it, and then they changed it. Mm -hmm. So they didn't hear the voice of Yahweh Shai. That was Satan, man. Yeah. That was Satan. That Satan is guiding these guys. They're not following Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. This is 1 John chapter 3 and verse 23. Mm -hmm. And this is his commandment mm. that we should believe on the name of his son, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach. So that's the commandment of Yahweh. Mm. This is his commandment. Yahweh. So you say, Yahweh, you worship Yahweh alone, right? Mm -hmm. This is Yahweh's commandment. Yeah. That you worship, read it again. This is 1 John chapter 3 and verse 23. And this is his commandment that we should believe on the name, not names, name, name. of his son, Yahawashai Hamashiach. So that's a commandment. So that's a commandment from the side directly to believe in the name of his son, Yahawashai. So what's wrong with Nate? Hmm. What's wrong with IUIC? What's wrong with Elazar? Right. They, they, did they read that or what's going on? Are you fucking guys that listen to them? Are y'all reading that? Yeah. Do you believe in what is written right here? You already don't. You fucking brainless zombies, man. Mm -hmm. And the script, the... Lord said, if the blind lead, if the blind, both you have to, fall. yeah, both shall fall into the, you have to be blind to, this is in the Bible. Like, yeah. <laughs> we all have the same Bible. How did they not see this? Because they, they blind. And they quote it too. They read from the New wow. Testament. You know what I mean? <laughs> but they, they just happen to miss over that part because they blind. Mm. They can't see it. They reading the same scripture we reading and they understanding something totally different. Yeah. Because they can't really see what really, what it's actually saying. Mm. There's more? Yeah. It says, and love one another as he gave us commandment. Yeah, and love one another as he gave us commandment. So when Yahweh Shai came, what did he do? He gave us the commandments of the Most High. Mm. He said, this is the, the most important commandment. That's right. The number one commandment, don't have more than God before the Most High. We all worship Yahweh, of course. Mm -hmm. What's the second commandment? Love, love thy brother. brother as thyself. Mm -hmm. And in that, all the law is fulfilled. Yeah, not bear false witness. Right, that's not, not love. Yeah, not, not accuse us of things that has, you can't prove that. <laughs> And you you know we 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 don't do the things that you accuse us right. of, you know. Yep. All we want to do is just please Yahweh and Yahweh Shai and hopes of being saved, Lord willing. That's right. And that's that's what we stress, and that's how we learn, and that's what we learned from our apostles. Mm -hmm. To be diligent, be fully persuaded in your own mind, study for yourself, mm -hmm. so that you can teach men. That's why the apostles they they stress that. Yep. Learn from us, all right, through the Spirit. Study so you can teach men you could be a fisher of men that's, that's right. the example that they laid down through the spirit and we believe and we know that those are the true men of the lord on down mm -hmm. and what is our uh, first corinthians or second try to see if you can get that um follow me even as i or there's more there yeah, well, so well, I, well, yeah i get it i get it um this is first john chapter 3 and verse 24 <clears throat> and he that keepeth his commandments dwelleth in him I mean, if you keep the law, statutes, and commandments, and you have the faith of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh through Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashem El Shai is dealing with you mm -hmm. as an Israelite man. Mm -hmm. It says, and he and him, and hereby we know that he abideth in us mm -hmm. by the spirit which he have given us. Mm -hmm. So the fact we even able to do these videos, do these live streams, yep. go on the highways and byways and give you the correct understanding, it's, it's not because, you know, we these great men. It's Yahweh through Yahweh Shai that makes us great. That's right. That gives us the Holy Spirit, which is the understanding of the scriptures, mm -hmm. to be able to teach you. Because that's the will of the Father. Mm -hmm. And that's what we do. We make use of our talents. Lord willing, we endure unto the end. Because it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the Most High. We don't want to be like these <clears> guys, <throat> man. Blaspheming the name, teaching false doctrine. We, we too late in the game for that. Mm -hmm. I got a precept. Mm -hmm. This is Matthew 16, verse... Um, I'm going to start at verse 13. Okay. It says, When Yahweh Shai came into the coast of, of Caesarea Philippi, mm -hmm. he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I am? I mean, let me read that again. Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? Yeah, so Yahweh Shai, he mm -hmm. was asking his disciples a question. Mm -hmm. 
It says, and they said, some say thou art John the Baptist, mm. some Elias, and others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. So men was given their opinions, but it's going to get more specific on how Yahweh through Yahweh Shah reveals things unto men. Mm -hmm. And we believe and we know that Yahweh through Yahweh Shah, beginning with Abba Bivens, Elder Yaquab, King Marshal, High right. Priest Ariah, Apostle Tahar on down, the apostles, the elders on down, that he revealed the truth to us. Mm -hmm. And Simon, I mean, excuse me, he saith unto them, but whom say ye that I am? Mm. And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the anointed, the son of the living power. And how did he know that? Because mm -hmm. Yahweh through Yahweh Shah revealed that unto him. Yep. When the brother read the verses above up, they give their own opinions. Yeah. All right, but they was they was wrong. Mm -hmm. The Most High Yahweh through Yahweh Shah revealed that unto Peter that Peter knew a hundred percent without doubting that that's the Son of the Most High, that's right. Yahweh Shah, our that's Savior, right, Mediator, our High Priest, <clears throat> our everything, man. Yep. So we can't convince you of that. You know, you have to believe it for yourself. <laughs> yeah. We could preach of Yahweh Shah. We could spread the gospel of Yahweh Shah, which mm -hmm. we do, but. We, th our job is not to try to convince you that this is the truth. Yeah. We just, our job is to teach you the truth. Mm -hmm. This is why we don't, you see, Great Millstone does not do debates. You don't see Great Millstone on side nigga. And all, you know, you don't see that. Why? Because the Holy Spirit is working with us. Mm -hmm. Where the Lord revealed these things to us, we don't have to debate it. We don't, what's the point of debating something that you know is already true? Yeah. It says, as Peter answered and said, Thou art the anointed Hamashiach, the son of the living power. And Yahweh Shai answered him and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona. Meaning that blesses you because you know it through faith. You didn't mm. hesitate, you know, you didn't doubt. Yep. The other men, they gave their answers, all right, but. Simon Peter, he was revealed that through Yahweh, through Yahweh Shai. Yep. You can't just wake up one day and just, just know it all. You have to learn through a man. But then there's certain things that the Most High Yahweh revealed through Yahweh Shai to Israelite men in the truth. Mm -hmm. For flesh and blood have not revealed it unto thee. Yeah, flesh and blood didn't mm -hmm. reveal it. You know, he didn't um, know that from somebody else. Right, yeah. Other men gave their answer. Mm -hmm. He gave a different answer, but that was through the Spirit. <laughs> yeah. That was through the Holy Spirit which is through Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. That was bold too. What yeah. he said. For, it says, but my father, which is in heaven. My father, which is in heaven. What's the name of the father? That's very right. important. That's he right. don't got names. He got one name. Mm -hmm. And he want his people to, his people, which is the Israelites, you so-called <clears throat> Negroes, Hispanic, Native American Indians. He want us and he gave us commandment to call upon Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. That's why here at Great Millstone, what do we say? Yahweh, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father, Baha Hashem, which means the name Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai said in John the 14th chapter, no man, no man, mm. which means no Israelite man go unto the Father but through me. Mm. So what the hell are these guys talking about? Yeah, they reprobates, man. Yeah. They're not dead. The Most High is not dealing with them at all. Because if the, like you read 1 John 3, Mm -hmm. At the end, like I just read Matthew the 16th chapter, if the Most High truly was dealing with him, they would know and acknowledge Yahweh Shai yeah. as who he actually is. Mm -hmm. That has to be revealed unto you. That has to be given unto you. I got a precept. This is Acts 4 verse 12. Okay. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Ain't no salvation through these these statues, all right? right. These, these gods <laughs> of the heathen. They don't exist. That's a figment of a man's imagination. Yep. That's the spirit that the Most High put on the heathens to be reprobate and keep their own customs. Mm -hmm. He made us different as Israelites. He gave yeah. us the law, statutes, and commandments. Mm -hmm. He gave us his name, mm -hmm. which is very important. And when you pray, you can't be wavering. You got to really believe that he's going to honor your prayer yeah. because you're doing what he said to do. You're That's pushing right. the gospel. You out there on the highways and byways. You don't have mm -hmm. no arterial motive. Mm -hmm. Your motive is to what? Be saved by the actions and the faith that Yahweh through Yahweh Shah has given you as an individual, mm -hmm. as the Israelite is truth. Yep. Can you read that again, but Buckle Shah? Yep, yep. This is Acts chapter 4, verse 12. It says, Neither is there salvation in any other. There no, there's no salvation in the name Jesus Christ. Yep. Do your research on that. Where the letter J comes from, how it was invented 1524. Yep. Do your own research on that. Even when you read um, King James 16, 11, the word Jesus not in there. Mm -hmm. Do you, do your research. Stop just going by the doctrine of men. Mm -hmm. Understand and do your research based off of the true men of the Lord that are teaching the truth, the apostles on down. Understand that the true name of the Messiah is Yahweh Shai. 
And that's how us Israelites, Lord willing, we are part of the elect. Lord willing. Us Israelites, that's how we're going to be saved, through mm -hmm. Yahweh mm -hmm. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. That name is Yahweh mm -hmm. That's the name we got to call upon. When we pray, we say Yahweh Bashem El Shai, and we ask for deliverance or, or wisdom, mm -hmm. more faith, or whatever you need as an Israelite man in his truth. You know what you need as an individual in this truth. You need more faith, you need more wisdom, all right? Mm -hmm. You need more protection, you just wanna pray, Yahweh Bashem El Shai, don't take the Holy Spirit away from me. You know, pray to the Most High, man, that's our <clears throat> ultimate weapon in this captivity. Yep, this is John 6 and 23, and in that day ye shall ask me nothing. Mm. Verily, verily, I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, mm. he will give it you. The name of Yahweh Shah is very important mm -hmm. because our prayers is answered through who? Yahweh Shah. Shah. You, can you get that on um, precept with Balkan Shah and um, John 14? Yeah, that was the other one for that, yeah. Mm -hmm. 14 and uh, 16, is it? Yeah, 16 or it's either like 6 or 12. One. Oh, let me see. Yeah, the name of Yahweh Shah is very oh, important. Yeah, I got you. you. Got it? Yep, this is John 14 verse, I'll start at 5. Mm. It says, Thomas saith unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know thy know the way? Mm -hmm. Yahweh Shai answered, I mean, Yahweh Shai saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So all these guys that talk about, <clears throat> I got this truth from the Most High. No, you didn't. They're lying. That's a lying, <laughs> reprobate spirit that's been sent upon you. Mm -hmm. And the scary thing about that, us brothers that's in the truth, we can see that. But you can't acknowledge that because the Most High put that evil spirit upon you mm -hmm. so he could destroy you. So we hope and pray, Yahweh Bashem El Shai, Abba Rathaza, mm -hmm. Ottawa Rathaza, that mm -hmm. that won't happen to us, man. That's a scary thing. Yeah. We want to receive salvation. All these videos we do, going on the highways and byways, catching all this hell, we hope that our, our life, the, the, the final stand is to what? Receive salvation. Mm -hmm. That's that's why we in this thing. Yep. We're not trying to see vain glory. We're not trying to be YouTube celebrities. We just want to glorify Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. That's right. That's it. Yep. Verse 16, it says, And I will pray the Father. Well, I got to start at 14. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Yeah, so you got to pray in the name of Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And then you got to ask for whatever you, you're praying for. Don't mm -hmm. don't pray for nothing stupid. Pray for more wisdom. Pray for more faith. Yep. People to endure. Yep. Pray for your brothers. That's right. Pray. That's right. If you love me, keep my commandments. If you love Yahweh Shai, you will keep his commandments, which the first thing Yahweh Shai commanded, which is the what? Go out on the highways and byways and bid them to the marriage. Yep. That's right. He said, if, if you love me, you would do this. So mm -hmm. every Israelite, they don't yeah. love Yahweh Shai. That's right. Because they're not out on the highways and byways. Mm -hmm. They might be doing videos, but they're not in the streets. They're ashamed. Mm -hmm. They don't want no nobody to know. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said, if you, um, this greater love have no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his brethren. Mm. So if you love Yahweh Shai, he told Peter, what, feed my sheep? Yeah. You, What we doing is a service unto the unto the elect. Lord willing, we be the elect as well, but th what we're doing is a service to the elect because we got to sacrifice things to bring this out. Mm. And we, we know we count the cost before we entered into this thing that we might have to die just to bring this out. Mm. So we did that for what? To teach you. That's the love that you have for the, the Yahweh Shai said. This is how you know my disciples, the love they have for one another. It says, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. And that comforter is these scriptures, mm -hmm. all right? And we understand these scriptures mm -hmm. from learning from other men that have the Rakah Kodash, mm -hmm. which is the Holy Spirit, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that we have through Yahweh Shah's blood and sacrifice, and not of ourselves. Mm -hmm. Verse 15, uh, 16, I mean, no, I just read that. Verse 17, even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive. They can't. What, what did Paul say in Galatians 4 and 16? Have I become your enemy and, because I tell you the truth? truth. We're yep. telling people the truth. Mm -hmm. You don't want to believe what we're saying, but we quote the scripture. You can read along with us. Yep. We bring out the secular history. We show you, according to the ancient world, what happened. Mm -hmm. These people that didn't listen, they was destroyed. Yep. Look at Noah. He prophesied for uh, over 100 years. Mm -hmm. They ain't listen. Because they never seen rain before. Right. They, they never seen a flood before, so they didn't believe. Mm -hmm. Now, what are we telling you in comparison to that? This world is going to be destroyed by fire, mm -hmm. as written by thermonuclear missiles. Mm -hmm. You see the thermonuclear missiles, <laughs> but you people still don't believe, though. Mm -hmm. That's because the Most High blinded you. He's That's only right. dealing with the elect. Yep, because it seeth him not, mm. neither knoweth him, 
Mm. But ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. Ye know him. Mm. Going back to what? Matthew chapter 13, verses 9 through 11. Mm. The ones that have ears to hear and the ones that have eyes to see, that's who Yahweh Shai is dealing with. Mm -hmm. That's who Yahweh through Yahweh Shai is dealing with, the elect of the nation of Israel. Right. And we're fighting for that crown. We hope it and pray and Lord willing that that's us. We don't want Yahweh Bashim Al to take the spirit away from us. No. We see the darkness that our people is in, mm -hmm. following these false religions, all right, bowing down to our women, teaching false doctrines. They're under the 51C3 charter. They blaspheme in the name of the Lord and His Son. We don't ever want to be like that. Mm -hmm. We want to receive salvation. And Yahweh Shah is up in the heavens making intercession for us. That's right. I got one more. Mm -hmm. I mean, unless you had something too. Oh, no, no, no. This is Revelation 12, verse 10. You read uh, 12 and 12 early. I'm going to read 10 and 11. Come on. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power. Our power. Mm -hmm. Those are Israelites talking. Mm -hmm. those, those are Israelites. Yeah. When you read on uh, Revelation 7, 9, and 10, those were Israelites. That's right. When you read the context, you got to understand the context of the scriptures. Mm -hmm. All right. When it's saying salvation unto our God, the heathens got their own gods that they worship. They got yeah. their own customs that they keep. Salvation unto our God, that means what? That those were Israelites. Mm -hmm. Those were the Israelite foreigners that were scattered in the heathen territories whom Yahweh Shai is going to deliver. Yep, it says, and the power of his anointed mm. for the accuser of our brethren Who's is the cast... the accuser of our brethren is who? Esau. Esau, Esau Edom, mm -hmm. the so-called white man and his line. Because all they do is slander us. Mm -hmm. All they try to do is destroy our image through the media, 